Good morning, traders. This is Jim Comiskey, Senior Market Strategist at MF Global, coming to you live on Tuesday, uh, October the 4th. Uh, give you some color on the metals complex, amongst other things. Uh, the opinions that I'm no doubt about to express are mine and mine alone, and not necessarily shared by MF Global. Okay? Uh, gold is currently down $9 to 1648.30. The silver down 85 cents to 29.94. Uh, copper is down uh, seven full ticks, okay, to the, what, 308, seven dollars, big move in copper. Uh, the, you, uh, well, the greenback here up 32 ticks to 80.23, and the euro down 36 to 131.81. Okay, basically, um, the, the issues with, with Greece, okay, continue to dominate headlines. It is really just a question of time before they full, full out default, okay, um, and the cascade effect could be huge. In fact, it will be. Um, the French banks are really under the gun here, okay, and hence Morgan Stanley is under the gun, which is one of the reasons why we've seen the S&P, the indexes now, we are f officially uh, in full-fledged bear market territory, we're 20% off our highs, okay. The S&P, the NAS, and the uh, Dow Jones, okay, your chief beneficiary of, of all this chaos, okay, uh, can and will be the metals, in my humble opinion, okay. Um, I would basically advocate continuing to buy gold, stacking them up, okay, silver as well. Copper I'd be a little more careful of, as you, uh, those of you that follow me know, because uh, copper has mu mu much more widespread use than silver, okay, so copper is subject to the vagaries of China, for the most part. Okay, uh, speaking of Morgan Stanley, let me read this to you, it's, uh, it's pretty ugly. Um, it, it, okay, let me read to you their exposure here. Uh, this is courtesy of uh, Zero Hedge, by the way. Egan Jones just downgraded Morgan Stanley from A plus to A, negative outlook. Okay, basically, the synopsis here. Questions about Morgan Stanley's French bank exposure and level of derivatives exposure. While June results were good, Morgan Stanley's French bank exposure, wait for it, $39 billion, okay? Again, Morgan Stanley's French bank exposure, $39 billion. That's all asset, and you're gonna love this one, off-balance sheet classes, except derivatives, okay? Remember Enron? Off balance sheet. Okay, this is, could potentially be huge. All right, $39 billion. Um, the U.S. is likely to provide Morgan Stanley additional support if needed. However, we are downgrading with a negative outlook. That's from Egan Jones, okay? Um, here's the deal. Okay, Morgan Stanley with $39 billion. What, what, it, you're probably seeing his headlines a lot. Morgan Stanley's and the, and the acronym CDS, okay? Uh, CDS is, is an acronym, the markets love acronyms, okay? It stands for Credit Default Swaps, okay? Uh, in other words, the risk of going out of business, okay? Well, well, Morgan Stanley is paying an ungodly amount right now. In other words, the, the piranha, well, I guess the sharks, are circling, all right? Um, this could be the Lehman Brothers moment. However, let's just substitute two words, Morgan Stanley, for Lehman Brothers. Um, it could get bad. Okay? Not that I'm all gloom and doom, but I am. Anyways, this would, this, you know, this type of, uh, I've said before, I'll say again, the markets being composed of human beings, okay, have human tendencies, okay? And, and one of the worst fears of the market, okay, in general, is uncertainty. Okay, and, and something, you know, it's like, uh, I hate using this word because everybody uses it, but this Greek contagion. I right, put it this way. All these countries, all these banks are joined at the hip, okay? They have what are called swaps out to each other or repurchase agreements, repos. Say, I own your debt, you own my debt, let's, let's create more debt. All right, you can't create more debt to pay down debt, well, to pay off debt. Okay, what you're doing is creating more debt. Eventually, okay, uh, it, 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 the, the bill has to be paid, okay? Um, we were talking on the desk, and, you know, actually kind of joking, um, you know, who has the solution? Uh, you know, does Obama have the solution? Uh, does the EC have the solution? Jean-Claude Trichet have the solution? Does Kramer have the solution? I think not. 
Um, just, just continue to stack up the metals, okay, in my humble opinion. Uh, they're the only currency that aren't backed by the full faith of any government, okay. Uh, not fiat currencies, not paper, okay. It's real currency, despite what that woman on, uh, at, from Toronto said about gold not being backed by anything, and yet the U.S. dollar is backed by the U.S. government. Couldn't have it more backwards, okay. Um, I was going to keep going with the rant. I will. All right, one final thing, okay. You're going to like this, okay. With regards to Obama's jobs bill, okay. He's currently traipsing around the country promoting his jobs bill. You must pass this now. Okay, he has no intention. He knows Congress isn't going to pass this bill. All it is is a political ploy. Okay, but I came across an interesting article on Fox News. Uh, yeah, Fox News. Um, Got to give him credit my sources, you know. Thomas Pyle wrote this, okay. Obama could skip the class warfare and let the oil and gas industry create jobs. All right, now, this, I just find this very fascinating, okay. And this isn't really an anti-Obama thing, but, but it kind of is. Um, all right. President Obama con conjured up his favorite boogeyman recently, the oil and gas industry. He reached for it uh, when he released his job creation and deficit reduction package. Despite the fact that the oil and gas industry pays, trivia question, how much does the oil and gas industry pay a day, every day, in income taxes, royalties, bonuses, and rents to the federal government? $86 million a day, okay? Oil and gas industry pays to the federal government. All right, and Obama doesn't think they're paying their fair share. But what he's proposing is an additional $41 billion in new taxes on the energy producers. Okay, this will result, no doubt, higher energy prices, more oil imports, and in the end, fewer jobs. Um, and you wonder why the economy continues to be mired in the economic funk. Okay, that's not leadership. Okay, that's just a political stunt. Uh, it has, has no chance to have in this past Congress. And yet he continues, you know, I don't know, it gets old. Anyways, um, if you would like to email me, please feel free to do so. Uh, my email address, I believe it's right down there. But anyways, it's just J-C-O-M-I-S-K-E-Y at mfglobal.com. Or feel free to give me a call at the desk, my number 888-800-5373. Look forward to hearing from you. Always remember, please, the trading commodities is inherently risky and not suitable for all investors. Thanks.